Well, hi everyone. Got a video here on reference angles. And first of all, just a definition. Let theta be an angle in standard position. You know, you got your initial side, which is that positive x axis. Its reference angle is the acute angle, and we're going to use theta prime formed by the terminal side of the angle and the horizontal axis. So wherever it is, we're going to look at the acute angle that it makes with the x-axis. So let's first of all just talk about, just look at some examples. And um, I like to do it visually as well as um, just mathematically. So if I draw just kind of the now, I don't know if I need to draw the circle, but I did. Um, 213 degrees. Here's 180 degrees, right? So we got this angle, 213, go about 30-some degrees or so past that. So we're talking about this is the 213-degree angle. Now, the this is theta. Theta prime is this angle right here. Here's the x-axis. Here's the acute angle that the terminal side is making with that. And that looks to me to be 213 degrees minus 180 degrees, which is 33 degrees. And I actually was thinking 33 degrees when I was thinking how far to go with this. But theta prime okay, is 33 degrees here. Now... I won't draw the circle this time. But 14 pi over 9. Remember, this is pi over 2. This is pi, so it's going past pi. This is 3 pi over 2. I'm curious about how far, and this is 2 pi. Um, 3 pi over 2. I'm just going to... Let's see, 14 over 9, that would be 28 pi over 18. I'm just kind of giving a reference point here. And if I multiply that by 9, that's 27 pi over 18. So it's just, it goes slightly past this right here. So I'm going to draw it right around there. Okay, now this is in the fourth quadrant. This is theta. Theta prime is actually this angle right here that it makes the um, with the x-axis. It's the acute angle right here, and it's in radians. So I'm going to take 2 pi minus, I apologize for the mess, I, you know, I think I gave myself enough room. I'm going to take 2 pi minus this 14 pi over 9. Okay, so 2 pi is all the way around. If I subtract this 14 pi over 9, I have this left over. Um, and this is 18 pi over 9 minus 14 pi over 9 which is theta prime is 4 pi over 9. Okay. All right, so the way we're calculating is a little different on these. It just depends on which quadrant it is in. I'm not going to memorize. I'm just going to visualize more than memorize this. Um, and Remember, we got radians again. This is pi over 2, and this is pi. So I, I really think this is 0.5 pi, this is 0.8 pi, this is 1 pi. So I think we're going to be somewhere like right around here with this one in the second quadrant. Okay. Um, this is theta. 
theta prime is this angle here. It's the one it makes with the x-axis. And that's what I want to just keep saying. The angle with the x-axis, the acute angle with the x-axis, is the reference angle. And it'll be handy. We'll try to look at it with, as we evaluate some things. So theta prime is, um, looks to me like we have to take all of pi and subtract this 4 pi over 5 and we'll have what's left over here. So I'm going to take 5 pi over 5, which is pi, minus 4 pi over 5, 5, this is theta prime by the way, and theta prime will be 1 pi over 5, I'll just write pi over 5 on that one. So those are the reference angles, the angles that it makes with the x-axis. And we're going to use reference angles to evaluate these trig functions. So I want to look at where 7 pi over 4 is. These are common values. So this is 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 3, 4. I'm going to write down 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. Okay. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. It goes right in the middle there. And we are finding the sine. That is, theta prime is pi over 4. Okay? And then the sine is the sine of pi over 4, the reference angle. Remember, sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. But, this is in this quadrant, and sine is the y coordinates of the negative sine of negative sine of... So the sine of 7 pi over 4 is equal to the negative sine of pi over 4, and it's negative just because of the quadrants is in, which equals negative square root of 2 over 2. Alright, cosine of negative 120. Okay. So, we're talking 90, 180, 270, 360, 0 and 360. Alright, negative 120. Um, negative 180 would go all the way here. So we're going to go negative 120. So this is negative 90 and 30 more. So we're talking about this angle right here is negative 120. Its reference angle is this angle right here, which is 60 degrees, 180 The reference angle there is 60 degrees. Got me 120 there and then 60 more here. So, if you recall, for 60 degrees, the cosine of 60 degrees... Okay, so let's do this. Cosine of negative 120 degrees. And then we're going to use the cosine of 60 degrees. Now the cosine of 60 degrees is um, is one half. I have to think of the unit circle here, but we're in the third quadrant, so that's negative here, negative there. So cosine negative 120 is equal to the negative cosine of 60, which is negative one half, and then the tangent of 11 pi over 6. Okay, I like to visualize. Um, this is 2 pi, which is 12 pi over 6. It's pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. This, so, and 2 pi is also 12 pi over 6, so we're, we're pretty close here. And we're pi over 6. That's what our reference angle here is. This is 11 pi over 6. Okay, pi over 6 is our reference angle, and we're finding the tangent 
of pi over 6, which is the sine of pi over 6. I'm going to do it this way. Over 6 over the cosine of pi over 6. And the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. And I feel like I've done this before. This is 1 over square root of 3. And when you rationalize the denominator, you get square root of 3 over 3. So, and the, we need to look at this. The sine is negative here. The cosine is positive. A negative divided by a positive. So we're negative over positive, negative one half. This is negative. So this is the tangent of 11 pi over 6 is equal to this. It's equal to the negative tangent of pi over 6 using that reference angle. All right. And you might be able to use your... Um, this is just to show the comparisons, but you might also be able to just, if you've got the unit circle down, um, that will work too. All right, guys, take care, and God bless.